Now, Johannesburg's popular road, William Nickel Drive, will officially be renamed Winnie Mandela Drive as of today. The city officials will unveil that uh, name change today. In fact, the resolution to change the street name was passed back in October 2018 in the Joburg Council. The aim of the move was to promote unity, inclusive identity, and to pay tribute to the late struggle star Wart. The name change coincides with what would have been Winnie Mandela's 87th birthday today. More on this for you now. We're expecting road closures, and for a sense of how that's likely to affect you, let's bring in Joburg's Metro Police spokesperson, Kohani Fischer, who joins us via our telephone line today. Great to have you on the program, sir. Take us through how this might affect motorists, especially on a day like this where many people are back at work and back to school after the long weekend. Uh, good morning to you, and let me also take uh, this uh, opportunity to greet uh, the viewers. Yes, uh, today's event will be taking place uh, at uh, George Lee Park, which is at the corner of uh, Willem McCall and Santon Drive. The event will be taking place between 10 and 12 today, but uh, due to the nature of the event, of course, motorists are urged to be aware of the traffic disruptions, especially on Santon Drive and Willem McCall, and that's uh, between 9 in the morning and 1 in the afternoon, but uh, please do note that there won't be complete road closures at that intersection, but there will be some lane reductions. There will be a reduction on the southbound lanes on William Nicole Drive, and that's traveling through the Santon Drive intersection. Then there's a closure on the left turn slip lane on Santon Drive before the William Nicole Drive intersection. The motors uh, must make use of the right turn lanes to execute the left turn. And then there's a closure on one of the exclusive right turn lanes, and that's on the northbound of William Nicole, just before the Santon Drive drive intersection. And then there's also a reduction in the left turn lane on the northbound of William McCall before the Santon Drive intersection as well. But uh, for motorists who want to completely avoid the Santon Drive and William McCall uh, Drive intersection coming from the south of areas like Dunkeld West, then they can use Young Smarts Avenue and then turn right into Republic Road and turn the left back into William McCall. And those coming uh, from the north of areas like Four Ways and Bryston, they can then turn right into Republic Road, left into Young Smart Avenue and travel north until they head towards the areas like Dunkeld West and uh, Rosebank. And then uh, our officers from the JMPD will be present to assist uh, with uh, regulating traffic and to remove any obstructions on the road is to uh, ensure that there is a free flow of traffic in the area. Yeah, that was going to be my next question. Of course, the event itself runs until 12 o'clock, but you said that the road closures are going to be there until 1. It goes without saying that even beyond that, there may be need to kind of still um, direct traffic because of just how much attention, for example, this might draw. Uh, that, that is true. Uh, we are expecting some traffic disruptions. Uh, we know that it is one of the busiest uh, uh, routes uh, within the city of, of Johannesburg, especially in the north. But uh, the event organizers make sure that we do avoid the peak hour periods. That's where we do see heavy traffic congestion. So the event will be taking place after peak hour periods, but we are expecting some traffic disruptions uh, after the event. So our officers will be around the vicinity to ensure that uh, motorists do have a uh, free flow of uh, traffic. Fisher, as always, thanks very much indeed for your time. Kolani is the spokesperson for the JMPD. So in the main, William Nickel Drive as well as Santon Drive are likely to be affected and of course many other roads as a direct result of that.